<laughs> Good evening, everyone. This is Soul Work. We are live here on Shaw TV, and I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and thank you, everyone, for tuning in. <laughs> And we are going to be taking calls from the viewer as well after our commercial break. And that number, Calgary, to give us a call is 403-539-6710. So if you have a question for myself and my guest, by all means, make sure that you give us a call. And on tonight's show, I am very, very honored and pleased to bring on my guest Deepak Singh. Thank you Deepak for coming on. Of course, thank you. Uh, I'm actually uh, quite thrilled in a word I would say because uh, soul work, yeah, that was something missing in so far time that I was being in Canada and uh, it's great to see this kind of work is happening. This is the reality. Soul, it's a, it's a good, it's a good stuff. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. I know. It's just, it's wonderful having you here too. It is the uh, soul is the identity, right? Yes. That's why when you go to India, everybody will say Jenny G, Deepak G, or G, G is with G itself mm -hmm. is the meaning of soul. Soul means G, right? Yeah. So while I'm greeting you, Jenny, right, is your physical form. But how about that soul? Because again, there are souls meeting each other. Mm -hmm. So that a G is the presence is the is that physical form it appears and then you are greeting to the soul as well yes <laughs> and that was so beautiful that was you have no idea how that that connected with me in that email yeah it no. was it was perfect timing for that it was yeah. absolutely amazing no. <laughs> no this is uh, great <laughs> yes so what inspired you to to get involved with this spiritual life i would say um when I, from my uh, childhood, I was mo most of the time I used to hang out with, uh, you know, friends of like my grandfather or like, you know, all the, and this is how normally you will grow up uh, in India around grandparents and their friends and, uh, you know, and grandparents are, they are all, most of the time they are about their uh, worship and like spiritual work, service. So uh, I was, and, and, I, and I find it uh, quite like um, natural and I found that kind of connection since that, like from my childhood till today, I can feel that uh, service that, you know, I want to do and like, you know, must, I want to share with the community and I want to be around the community. And that's my, uh, that's my, even if you visit my website, I say serve and uplift yes. because that's, that's the purpose of life, what I have found with so far experience. Yeah. <laughs> so who was who is your main influence? Was it your grandparents or in uh, in in my influences I I will give the, uh, the influence like you know to basically I would call it the entire culture where I have seen people more than to doing for themselves. They are all about service and they are all about doing for others. You know which which always keep that compassion, that selflessness, mm -hmm. you know, on the top of your life and keep you humble. Otherwise, there is no way if I will sit and listen to my mind, mm -hmm. I will be like, you know, all confused <laughs> and all different yeah. high or low energy, you know, but you want to stay universal. And mm -hmm. uh, in my influences, yes, my, uh, you know, all culture and uh, yeah, some saints from the family. Definitely, definitely. It would be like such a nice warmth and yeah. loving energy with it to be really connected with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is, it is, it is always, yeah. sweet is always sweet, right? Yes. So, uh, so the culture, that sweetness was there. So whenever I taste it, I smell it, I just go into it. It's pretty romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you it is. You would always be grounded. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're raised especially yeah. with a spiritual lifestyle, yeah. you know, because not everybody is raised on a spiritual lifestyle, yeah. you know, I, I bet you'd be more grounded mm -hmm. and understand yeah. spirituality to the fullest. Definitely is, um, you know, when you say about that lightness and the lightness can be only experienced if we are not holding on to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And spiritual, again, your soul, mm -hmm. spirit, the life, the way of your soul and what's the talk of soul, you know, 
and uh, when you recognize that when you get into yourself when you meet that oneness inside you this is totally uh, lightness and that time you feel more grounded yes you're so connected <laughs> yes uh, that's the only way it's the only yeah. way yeah so what is what is it like being a uh, an indian yogi <laughs> well uh, in the western world i in 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 my theory everybody is yogi yeah. depend on how everybody recognize it you know we all do things it's uh, like you know but it's it's all about recognizes the whole yoga is recognition because it's all in there in our body mm -hmm. we just recognize it and mm -hmm. act upon it and the further and uh, invest everything is good you know it's it's different it's just different um, good but yeah all good <laughs> <laughs> cuz you teach yoga classes yeah How, i do i yeah. do teach yeah 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 yes and i know that one of your main what's your main focus i would say when when you're teaching yoga in in my yoga i i try uh, like classes i try to uh, you know share what i get to experience with all the yogis and uh, sometime it it's uh, different for people they find it uh, you know different experience whereas yoga invest is all about uh, well whole about uh, you know a lot about is a uh, physical postures whereas there is whole a lot to do with the yoga mm -hmm. and uh, you know asana physical practice is there it's important but it it is something but it is not everything and there is a whole a lot study and recognition of the self mm -hmm. and uh, yeah so i try to bring all of my experience of whatever i was fortunate to get that uh, to receive in my life from there and uh, uh, that's why when it comes to yoga and sharing i i consider myself as a messenger mm, yes you are a teacher you are a messenger <laughs> that's that's especially whenever we connected i'm like oh my god yeah there was two days boom and then yeah my answer was answered just like that yeah. it was amazing yeah cuz you use a lot of breath work with your yoga yeah breath work is like um, if we are not considering the breath then why we are just stretching or holding or like bending it's all about breath if you calm down your yep. breath your whole world yep. is calm down yep. there are a lot of people they will pass you their words oh i can't kill my day there are people they are like oh i can't use it. it's like a lot of time how to pass my day it's the state of the mind and the rate of your breath make mm. the state of mind yes. told by all the yogis Yes, because you use that with your meditation. Yeah. yeah. Without breath is like the meditation itself is just like a hypnotic meditation. Yeah. But while with the breathing, it's like other meditations are so good. It's like having everyone on your board and help them passing on to the river. And whereas with the breathing, you are teaching people how to swim and pass their own ocean. Yes, yes. So do you consider your, your because I know there's different yogas. Mm-hmm. You know there's hot yoga there's kundalini yoga and and yeah. all of that. Yeah. So do you do you f focus your met or your yogi on the breath mainly? I would say breath uh, all these yogas that you just named comes after breath. And uh, they are different form and different practices done by all different uh, masters and like you know they did in their with themselves and then they shared it mm -hmm. and what resonate with someone's practice this is how it is like but uh, yeah breathing is important yeah you have to breathe yeah everything <laughs> is force. important it's 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 a life form yes it has the music it has the yes. rhythm listen to your breath this is the most ever soothing thing i can share you know yes. it's just your breath cuz that would be good especially for a musician who wanted to sing yeah cuz yeah. that their focus really is on yeah. their breath yeah so i would recommend to you if anybody was a musician or wanted to sing yeah to take your class as well because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know it makes sense really yeah. as well breath uh, definitely work for you uh, to bring that oneness otherwise it's just an idea or just a, a, a thing to work upon yes but uh, yeah when we practice on it we find our answers the great secret yeah. of life is breath and it has been all revealed your whole life oh wow that's yeah that's very good yeah so if somebody wanted to come see you and take a class or or to talk to you what is the best way for them and how they is can, the best way for them to do that they can con connect with me through the website or the okay. like you know facebook yeah okay what's yeah. your website called 
themountainmonk.ca. That I love that name. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted you to say it. It's up yeah. anyways, but I love that name. Yeah. It's a really nice energy to it. Yeah. <laughs> I always have loved like mountains and when I was uh, I got in Alberta and I saw the mountains and the the name came in my mind and it was like the mountain monk and it's always Yeah. Yeah connects it just resonates with what i was thinking it really connects <laughs> with you <laughs> yeah yeah now we're going to take a short commercial break calgary and our phone lines are officially open so if you have a question for myself and also deepak yeah. please give us a call that number is 403-539-6710 we'll be right back after the short commercial break calgary so hang in there